Hello, Ravens fans, and welcome to another edition of the Spotlight Ravens series. I'm Aaron Schneider, the Sports Information Director at Anderson University, and joining us from the softball team is Ariel Lee. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good. Um, Ariel will be entering her junior year. She has it so far it has a 277 career batting average, scored um, nine runs and drove in five runs during her freshman, um, freshman season. Um, to kick things off, what is your major and minor? Right now I am majoring in athletic training and I currently don't have a minor. Okay. Um, who is your inspiration and why? I would say my inspiration is probably my parents because I mean they've always been always they've always been pushing me and you know really showing me how to be determined and hard work and everything like that so they've really pushed me to become the person and player I am today. Okay um, what is your driving force slash motivation? Um, I would say along with my parents is probably just the fact of my fear of failure so just always you know I don't like to fail. I don't like to lose. So that's really like driving me to be the best that I can at everything I do. Yeah, for sure. Um, what is your favorite aspect about sports? Um, my favorite aspect definitely has to be the competition. It's, I mean, it's unreal. Like when you're in those moments and tensions high and you have all those close plays, just the adrenaline you have going through your body is crazy and just such an amazing feeling. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite non-athletic memory in Anderson? Non-athletic? Um, I'd have to say probably any time that I'm back with my friends in the dorm, because I live in Morrison, so a lot of non-athletes stay there. So any time that I'm around them, we're always doing who knows what Walmart runs and stuff like that. So I'd say those are probably my best memories. Okay. And then what is your favorite athletic memory in Anderson? Um, my favorite athletic memory was probably either the one game we got to play this year, just because the, like the energy was so high and everything, or I want to say it was against McAllister in Florida last year. Oh my because especially as a freshman, like, and I only got to play in a couple moments that game. I think I came into bunt a couple times, but holy crap, the energy of everyone and everyone cheering, and it was under the lights. It was, it was an amazing experience. And that was the game that went into extra innings. And then yes, we, it was yeah, very that, intense. That was McAllister. Yeah. And then um, what are your favorite hobbies? Here at hobbies, um, I would say I like any kind of physical activity. I like being active. So, I mean, even if it's not just playing softball, like just playing like other sports just for fun, or I really enjoy reading or drawing. Okay. Um, what is a little known but amazing fact about yourself? Um, I would say the fact that I actually took dance for 15 years. Okay. So, yeah. Um, and then why did you choose Anderson? I chose Anderson because, let's see, well, I really liked the family aspect about it. It was one of those, you know, when I was trying to find colleges and everyone was, you know, like, you'll know it when you step foot there, like, you'll know it, you'll know it. It was kind of like, hmm, okay. And then it really, like, when I came onto Anderson's campus and, like, met people here, I was like, wow, like, I really love this place like everyone is so nice seem like such a family they would work with sports and athletic training so being able to play the sport I love and pursue the degree that I want that was that was a big factor okay um what is your favorite class in Anderson and why oh my favorite class um I would say probably my favorite class so far would have been my emergency response class freshman year, just because it's a lot of hands-on and learning how to 
you know, react in those crucial situations. And we got to learn spine boarding and all about first aid and CPR. So it was pretty cool to learn all about that. Okay. And then who is your favorite professor and why? Uh, <laughs> well, our AT department <laughs> really, I have only had like two of their professors so far. So I'm going to go with both Chris Hamlin and Donya Whiteman, just because I mean, I spend most of my time with them in class and they're always cracking jokes and it's a very like personal level education, if that makes sense. I mean, we're always joking around and that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, what, it, what are your plans so far after graduation? Um, after graduation, I would like to get my master's degree somewhere. I don't really know where yet, but I'd like to do that. And then after I get my master's, I'd like to work at the collegiate level, hopefully, probably start out at a high school, but in that area. Okay. And then what do you want your lasting legacy to be in Anderson? My lasting legacy, I, I'd like to want it to be probably the fact that I guess I'm a friendly person and like hardworking kid. I mean, I don't really care if it's much about like my major or sports. I just want people to like think of me and be like, wow, like, you know, she was really dedicated and really hardworking at everything she did. Okay. Um, going into the next segment of questions, the on the team superlative event. First, who on the team is best dressed? I would have to say Taylor Johnson. Anytime I see her around campus, she is always looking like super nice and all dressed up. Okay, who on the team is the best dancer? <laughs> I'm gonna say myself if I'm allowed to do that. Just you are. because usually I always I'm getting like the weird, oh my gosh, Ariel's dancing again, <laughs> look from my teammates. But yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's been a common theme so far amongst the softball players so far. Yeah, it's very rare that I'm not dancing at practice. <laughs> um, who on, who on the team is the Joker, prankster, best sense of humor? I would say Taylor Lawson. Um, watching her in interview, how she was talking about how she lightens up the mood she definitely does i mean even in like the most serious situations she'll crack a joke and it just it relieves all the stress and pressure from all of us she's hilarious okay um who on the team is most outgoing i went back and forth between this one but i probably have to say benny it's like emily benefield um okay. especially because like when we had our camp inside in the winter and you know it's early and it's cold out so everyone's like mm. but Benny was there greeting every single kid that came in her energy was high from the get-go so yeah she's definitely outgoing okay who on the team is the best trash talker I would I would probably say all of us kind of I mean depending on like where your position is we all kind of like we all kind of trash talk to each other so probably a mixture of a lot of us okay who on the team is the pre-game dj dj <laughs> okay and then do you guys have a go-to pre-game song um i don't know just because i've only played one year so i haven't really had the chance to listen to a lot well, well what stuck out what stuck out in your freshman season um, I think it was some country song that I remember DJ always telling us, she was like, if you guys don't know this song, you need to learn it. So some country song, I'm guessing, I want to say some of them mentioned the Dixie Chicks before, so probably a song by them. Okay. And then as a bonus, what is your go-to walkout? My go-to walkout? Oh my, um, I don't, I don't know that I necessarily have a necessary a go-to, probably anything that has like a good bass drop in it is kind of what I look for. Last year, I think I did some, oh gosh, I don't even know what song it was, but this year I was going to have um, Kickstart My Heart by Motley Crue. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, and then going into the final segment of questions, what is your favorite candy? Sweet tarts. I love anything that's super sour. Okay. Um, 
who is your favorite professional athlete? I would say probably Sis Bates. I mean, I know she's known as more of a collegiate athlete, but she also plays for Team USA. So she's a really That's, great that works. Um, Which is your favorite season? Summer, by far. I hate the cold. <laughs> okay. Um, what is your lucky number? 11, surprisingly. <laughs> okay. And then um, outside of softball, what is your favorite sport? Volleyball. I actually played it all through high school, and I love okay. it. Um, what is your favorite TV show? Um, I'd say it's a mix between The Office and Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> okay. And then who is your uh, favorite professional sports team? Um, I don't know that I necessarily have a favorite professional sports team, but my favorite sports team would probably be um, University of Washington softball team. I really love following them on all social media and just That's watching them. Like, of course. Yes. <laughs> and then, um, what is it? What is your strangest nickname? Strangest nickname. Oh, um, my strangest nickname is probably Al because, or Big Al is what they okay. called me in volleyball in high school because um, our coach always went with our initials. Like she'd write our initials for our positions. So then she'd just start calling us by our initials and mine was Al. And then I think someone added big in front of it, like Big Al, just because I'm so short. <laughs> so. Okay. Um, what, is, um, what is your favorite thing to do outside of your sport? Mm, probably... Like I said earlier, any physical activity, like just being outside or reading or drawing, painting, stuff like that. Okay. Um, and then finally, what is your favorite holiday? Christmas. I love being, well, because Christmas, um, I'm always, ugh, I'm around my family all day and I'm such a family person. So I love being able to like go to all the different Christmases and see everyone and get to spend time with them. So. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, um, fans, thank you for tuning in for this. Ariel, thank you for doing this interview for with us. Be sure to follow along with more Spotlight Raven series interviews. Um, we'll have another one tomorrow, so we will see you tomorrow.